problem using Kepler's third law. The problem is consider an artificial satellite whose perigee that is the closest point to the earth is 3000 miles above the earth's surface and whose apogee the farthest point to earth is 4200 miles above the surface. So there are two datas that are given that is the satellites Closest distance, satellite's farthest distance. What do we need to find? Find the time period of the satellite. Since the satellite is moving around the earth, we know we can take using Kepler's third law, one satellite to be a moon, one planet to be a moon. He says two planets. The ratio in the Kepler's third law talks of two planets. So if this is the planet with respect to the earth and the, what is given is the, an artificial satellite. So the perigee is the closest point and the apogee is the farthest point. This is the center of the earth. Now we know the data from the surface of the earth to the perigee, the distance is given as 3000 miles. Whereas, from surface of the earth to the farthest point that is apogee, it is given as 4200 miles. We also know what is the radius of the earth. Radius of the earth is 3960 miles. Is the R. Having known all this data, we also need the data of another planet or another satellite for the Earth, which is Moon. We will take one satellite to be Moon and second satellite to be given one in the problem. So, seeing the data, we find out for the satellite average distance since we need to use Kepler's third law Kepler's third law states the distance from the center so this becomes from the surface we have to take average distance from earth's surface is 3000 plus 4200 by 2 which is 7200 by 2, which is nothing but 3600 miles. Now from center of the earth, the satellite is at 3600 miles plus the radius, which is 3960 miles, which will amount to 7560 miles. Having known the data, which we will take it as D1. And we know the data of the moon. This is for the satellite. Now we will take the data for the moon. In the moon data, we know what is the moon to center of earth distance, which is a known parameter to 39,000 miles. We also know the time period of the moon around the earth 27.3 days. Using Kepler's third law, satellite's time period, square of satellite time period and square of moon's time period ratio is ds cube that is Satellite's distance from the center of the earth and dm cube that is moon's distance from the center of the earth. So by calculating this what we will get ts square is equal to what is the ds that's of the satellite 7560 whole cube divided by 239000 whole cube into 
27.3 square. This gives rise to, when it is actually calculated, it gives us 236 into 10 to the power minus 4 and Ts is equal to square root of this which will be 3.69 hours. This is days because 27.3 is in days so this is days whereas when you convert that into hours and we will get the satellite's time period is 3.69 hours. This is basically to establish that using Kepler's third law, we can find any satellites, a second satellites for the Earth. If we take one satellite as the moon, we can establish what is the time period of that satellite. If we know the distance from the Earth to the satellite. This is how we can find out various parameters of the satellites of different planets.